These EKGs can be sneaky. I don't want you to miss these EKGs. I got three EKGs for you. Let me know if you get them all right. If you don't, don't worry. I'm here to help you. I'm gonna break them down. 10 seconds on the clock. Here we go. What do we have here? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna give you the answer and break it down. Right now, we have a junctional rhythm. But why? Let me tell you. Now, with a junctional rhythm, the AV junction takes over as the electroconduction pacemaker. So everything above the AV junction has failed. This fail-safe method of the heart, meaning SA node, AV node, ventricles. Well, right now the AV junction right in the middle of the heart has taken over pacemaking abilities. When we have a junctional rhythm, the intrinsic rate of the AV junction when it's in charge is 40 to 60 beats per minute. So those are our first hallmark signs. Now the big thing here is this rhythm is regular. So the pattern is regular. The QRSs are narrow. The pattern's regular. But the P wave, that's the key. The P wave will be either inverted, meaning it's flipped over, or you'll see a rhythm with no P wave. That's the hallmark of junction. The rate, the P wave, the regularity, junctional rhythm. Now here's our second EKG. 10 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Let me know in the comments down below. You get it right, get it wrong. I'm here to help you out if you do. I got your back. And this right here is second degree type one heart block, also known as a winky block. Let me tell you why it is. Now with second degree type one heart block, the big key feature here, it's a heart block, which means we are dropping beats, which means you're gonna see a P wave all by itself and there's no QRS attached to it. The conduction is dropped and there's no QRS and the P wave's just sitting there by itself. That's what we look at with these heart blocks, right? Now, remember what I always tell you, my friends, Look at the PRI, it tells you everything. The PRI of second degree type one, AKA a nickname for it is the Winky Bach, is this longer, longer, longer until the beat drops. So you're gonna notice that the PRI is gonna get longer in duration and longer in duration and longer in duration until the beat drops. That's how you figure it out and know on tests or on the fields that, that that is a second degree type one. Now we see it, what do we do about it? Well, if the patient is more stable, we could test out something like atropine to bring the rate up. If we see this rhythm in the patient unstable, meaning their vital signs are unstable, then we would go with transcutaneous pacemaking with the life pack. EKG number three, 10 seconds on the clock. Here it is. This EKG, what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Did you get it right? Did you get it wrong? I'm gonna help you either way. This EKG right here is SVT, supraventricular tachycardia. Let me tell you why it is and let's learn more about it. SVT is supraventricular tachycardia. Remember this folks, the impulse in SVT starts above the ventricles. If it starts, if the impulse starts above the ventricles, we gotta have a narrow QRS complex. So supra, like superior above the ventricle, tachycardia, tachycardia heart rate too quick, right? So that's an easy way to differentiate between a SVT and like a ventricle impulse. EKG originates in the ventricles. It's a wide QRS. If the EKG originates above the ventricles, anywhere, it's gotta be narrow in origin, right? beside something funky, right? Like bundle branches, electrolyte stuff, right? Just that baseline knowledge. We understand that first, we can go more advanced. Cool, all right, good. So, SVT, narrow QRS complex. I put here that it is regular. The reason why it always appears regular because the rate is so darn fast. So the rate on SVT is 150 to 250 beats per minute. And when I've seen it out in the field, it's usually around 180, 170s, 190s usually. It's even closer to 200 usually is what you'll see. 
Now, SVT is thought of as a grouping of tachycardias. Basically, our goal with SVT in EMS is to lower the heart rate. We can do that with medications, like adenosine, for example, or we can do it by, sh yes, shocking the patient. For example, doing a synchronized cardioversion. If they're more stable, we can try adenosine. If they're more unstable, then we would do synchronized cardioversion. Put the pads in the patient and shock them, right? Now, this is the, when we think about what SVT is, when I put quotations here, regular, this SVT, it might not be just a really fast sinus tachycardia. What it may be is a rapid AFib, but the rate is so fast, I can't see the irregularity, right? It could also be an atrial tachycardia. Could so fast, we can't see P waves. It could also be a junctional tachycardia. Again, we can't see P waves. And it's so fast, we can't see if it's regular or irregular. So this is the treatment plan when we see an SVT with a narrow QRS complex and how we handle it. Now, you will encounter SVTs often in the field. And the most common reason why you would see it is because someone has a heart abnormality, an accessory pathway in their heart, and they'll get flare-ups of SVT. So you will see that actually pretty often in EMS. I've actually created an entire EKG masterclass. In the first link in the description, this is what I give to all my students getting ready for paramedic school or advanced EMT school that want to learn EKGs. Now in that masterclass, it is two hours and 40 minutes of material just on EKG interpretation, understanding basic EKGs. I go over every single rhythm in great detail. I show examples. I go through all of the electrical physiology, all the anatomy that you need to know, every aspect of EKGs. And the reason I've done this is because so many students fail out of advanced EMT or paramedic school due to cardiology and EKGs. And I do not want that to be you. You get access to the entire presentation, the match class presentation. You get access to the EKG quiz to go over the material and you also get access to all the slides. So all the slides are also included with the presentations. You have instant notes from me to you. It's the first link in the description down below. I look forward to your success.